In this video, I'm going to show you some changes we've made in Stack Graphics Centurion version 17 to improve axis scaling. We'll see how scatter plots now permit us to plot character data on any axis. We'll see how the analysis toolbar simplifies rotation of the x-axis tick marks. We'll see better options for plotting daily time series data. We'll also see how extra tick marks appear on the axes during zoom and pan operations. We'll see how to reverse the order of numeric tick marks on any axis. And finally, we'll examine the new ternary plot. Here I've loaded into the Stack Graphics datasheet the file 93 cars. This file contains information on 93 different makes and models of automobiles. Information in the file includes things like the type of vehicle, the prices, and the miles per gallon that each vehicle gets in city driving. Suppose I wanted to plot miles per gallon in city driving versus type of vehicle. In version 17, I can now go up to the plot menu at the top and select scatter plot XY plot. I can select either numeric or character data for both the X and Y axes. So I'll simply take miles per gallon in city driving, put it on the Y axis, put type on the X axis, and press OK. The scatter plot shows me a plot of miles per gallon in city driving for each type of vehicle. Let's go in and make a few changes to this plot. The first thing I'll do is drag the word type down a little bit to get it out of the way. I'll then go up to the analysis toolbar to where the orientation of the X tick marks is specified and change it from horizontal to vertical. That's much easier to do than it was in version 16. I'm also going to add a little jitter to the points to avoid so much overplotting. On the jitter dialog box I'll add just a little bit of horizontal jitter and you can now see all 93 observations clearly. The next improvement I'm going to show you has to do with plotting daily data. Here you see a plot of the closing price of Facebook common stock on a daily basis since its initial public offering. Notice that the x-axis tick marks are one year apart. That sort of scaling was not possible in version 16. You can also change the scaling if you push the right mouse button, go to graphics options, and select the x-axis tab. Instead of plotting tick marks every one year, I can plot them instead at intervals of six months. That adds additional tick marks, each separated by six months. Now suppose I want to zoom in on the plot to see the daily data in more detail. To do that, I'll go up to the Analysis toolbar and press the Expand X button. You'll notice as the axis expands that some tick marks will go off the screen, but other tick marks will appear. This allows me to look more closely at the daily data without losing the ability to read the location along the axis. Version 17 also lets you switch the orientation of numeric axes. Take a look at this small file where X ranges from 1 to 10 and Y is minus X squared. If I plot this data by generating an XY plot, it will initially come up with both axes extending from smaller values to larger values from 0 to 10, from minus 100 to 0. There are times when it's helpful to switch the order of those tick marks. 
I can do that in version 17 by pushing the right mouse button, going to graphics options, selecting the axes I'm interested in, and checking reverse tick marks. The tick marks now go from largest to smallest. The last thing I want to show you in this video is the new ternary plot. The ternary plot plots three variables which all sum to a constant. For example, here we see a set of points where small plus medium plus large sums to 100 for each of the points. The orientation of the axis tick marks on the ternary plot may be either counterclockwise or clockwise. It depends on the setting under Edit Preferences on the Graphics tab, where currently I've set the orientation to counterclockwise. Each of these improvements was suggested by a current Stack Graphics user. Although some of them are small, they're all very useful.